Hi, this is SK. Uh, today I promised you guys on my Twitter account that I will be explaining uh, why this 200 level was very important for us. Let's see the hourly chart uh, here. Uh, let's see the daily chart here first. If you see on a daily chart, uh, this was our our re uh, resistance which uh, was about 200 and if we go back then we had this resistance over here this area which is about uh, two or three two or four ish two or five ish you know I, I was I was mentioning yes I mentioned yesterday that uh, we can poke through this and we have to come down look at this candle now you know like uh, are we look bullish no we are not because it because all these guys those who are long those who are uh, bold position holders here you know like they are very emotional they have they have they have they have seen their account go very down margin calls and whatnot you know whoever still holding you know they might have bought something around here just averaging it out and and getting out again so this resistance will be a tough resistance for us to to break and go back up uh, uh sometime soon you know i'm i'm expecting we are looking somewhere we are going down i mean i mean now even this candle is very promising but let's go back to five minute chart you know like uh, I made a lot of money today uh, at at the last hour. Uh, if you see, uh, we had a sell off after the news. We had a very bad sell off right away. You know, it was over. It was in an overbought condition. The it it cannot go that far. You know, there was no no space left for it. You know, so we saw the sell off. This candle here, this sell off here. You know, it's very important to see over here. All those bulls, oh, let me have this thing here for you. All these guys, all these guys here, they bought this low. Then we saw this this bounce, you know, like, uh, I mean, when I say they, they doesn't mean retailers. They means the computers. They means the institutions. They means, you know, like the big guys, you know, who make the market, the market makers, you know. They bought it here and we saw this bounce. And they, I mean, they were scalping or whatnot, you know. Then the first pullback, because it was the first leg up, you know. We saw first leg up here. We saw the first leg up here. This was a pullback. Then we went up again, you know. We, remember, we have a resistance coming over here. This this guy, this candle here, it, it poked about two or three, two, two, two or three, about two or three, it poked. And then it could not, the next candle, it could not go back up again. I was shorted in this candle. This candle I shorted. Reason, you can see, bears have already taken half of the bulls in losses right now, you know. If we are, if we are holding any position as a bull, you know, I will only, I will have a, have a stop. I will buy this pullback. The second second bear candle, but the third bear candle is is something where bulls will be looking, you know, very disappointed. You know, after that, if you see here, this this area here, I really made a lot of money by scalping itself. You know, let me just make it a little more. This area here, I made a lot of money just by scalping. The thing was, you know, we knew that 200 is a support, you know. Bulls, all these bulls, they will be trying. But this bear price action here, it is very strong to take the next leg down. What I was doing was, after this dodgy candle, we should not have seen the next leg down. This next leg down just went below this guy here you know about the same you can say you know the first candle when the when the news came out so this is not right you know this is double top uh, uh, double bottom and but the thing is if we went that strong in a bull rally here we should not see this kind of a bear action okay understood uh, we saw a, a, a little bigger pullback but why we are looking, why we are uh, going back to the same low where we started? So that means this this bullish action was missing the volume. That means the bullish action was not uh, a real action. You know, it was not, it was, uh, it, uh, all the pro traders or institutions were selling against this bullish action. So what we saw here is when this poked back up, I put my stop loss here. 
top uh, high of this guy this guy this candle at 325 and what I was doing was I was selling high buying low selling high buying low selling high buying low and whenever it, it poke back about to 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 one to 283 ish you know I was I was I was buying I was uh, selling short with a, with a 10 or 20 cents uh, uh, stop loss it was great risk ratio uh, guy uh, uh, but risk reward ratio guy but uh, probability was low but why the probability made uh, make very prominent meaning here was because we had this kind of a bear action this is I mean very prominent these all bulls could not could not give one bull bar here come on I mean this was very very prominent I was selling high buying low selling high buying low selling high buying low why we saw this kind of a price action here this area this area why did we have this kind of a price action let's go to the weekly chart tomorrow uh, the week will be ending and if we go to the weekly chart let me take the, all these lines out okay tomorrow if you see the weekly chart this guy here I mean, I do see weekly charts as well. You know, like uh, if you see, this is uh, this week we had 200, uh, uh, 200 mark, and you know that was the resistance. If you see the weekly chart here, tomorrow, very important day, Friday, very important because tomorrow the weekly candle will be made. If this candle give us a bullish action here, then we are definitely going up. We are seeing little bit upper. We can see little bit up or. We can see a little bit of uh, trading range action in this price area. Or, if let's say uh, this guy, this weekly uh, uh, candle gives us a bearish candle, you know, like tomorrow we see more low, which I'm expecting tomorrow will be a low day, you know, like as per the daily daily candle. I mean, I don't think there will be much buyers left in the market for this guy. So if it comes down, then I'm pretty sure we have poked this area what we were expecting 203-ish and we will be going down and looking this guy around this area. So it was very simple, you know, like uh, uh, it was all true price action, which, uh, which had a lot of meaning if you see it here, you know, like uh, 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 very important thing something here you know why I want this guy to come down if you see here it is a very good reversal it is a very good looking beer candle but I want this candle this today's candle you know this candle to at least close below 198 you know so what will happen this candle uh, will have a follow through which will take this bull bull candle all the bullish guys holding here they will be uh, holding a losing position then and then we'll be seeing a uh, next leg down and next leg prominent leg down should be I mean I think we are going down tomorrow which is uh, about 196 197 ish you know we can see a big a big down rally tomorrow but let's see you know like uh, uh, this is all what you can predict from the from the chart from the uh, uh, from the footprints of uh, smart money or pro traders day traders not the long-term traders you know long-term traders they don't buy uh, this kind of candles you know it's too volatile for them you know like they don't want to hold their money you know they might long-term traders might bought might would have bought here but all this price action here it's all from retailers you know day traders pro traders but those who are day trading institutions those who are day trading you know so uh, it's all price action very simple uh, one of the guys asked me what do I think about BIB you know like uh, over here it's very if you see this is also let me give you a weekly candle which will explain you see that's what we were expecting to see is S and P see here you know like we have we have a big uh, uh, tail or wick whatever you can call on this candle but tomorrow will decide a lot but on whereas in BIB we had let me just have this guy here the resistance was 82 and we are way par 82 so you know like it was always in bullish you know it was always 
uh, it was always bullish, you know, like we can easily see it's breaking up. If it break up here, then we can see next level we can see is about uh, about 90, you know, 90 or 90, something like that. And then we can see a little bit more consolidation and, and then it might go up, but it was very steep. Let's go to uh, HZNP, I believe that's what, yes. Okay. Okay, if you see here, you know, like uh, this guy, let me just have, these are the requests, uh, the, the few of my, my, co-trader friends asked me that you know what do you think about these guys you know this guy was on my watch list watch list as well but you know like because of today's trading i will uh today's day of fed news i was not trading uh any stocks i didn't buy any stocks i'm sorry i didn't buy any stock because uh, it was very dramatic it was very climatic you know like how how we saw this these all rise all are from BIB but all the gain we had here is 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 missing volume again you know like I will show my BOP and few other indicators I use a uh, uh, rate of change with price and my uh, volume which which is a great indicator which I mix match uh, uh, after several years of losing money and making tons of money after that that indicators really gives me a lot of information that are we buying uh, 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 is there is a volume at a certain price or volume is just jumping around there is very important thing to understand if we have a if we have a pattern where the the volume is is in a in a particular trading range like STZ you know like this guy uh, I did trade this guy you know made some good money so uh, this guy, this area here, if you see all my trend lines are here from before, we really did some good, uh, uh, this area here, this area here, it was all staying in the same price range and it was great accumulation and I did rally, I enjoyed this rally around, around $12, you know, in 14 days, you know. Now I am uh, heavily invested in this guy, Ray. Uh, this is a good guy, you know, like I don't, I don't like, uh, stocks which which are just just rallying up for no reason you know what I normally do here is you know if you go to daily uh, I have been trading this guy quite often this is my stop 4132 I don't want this guy to come below here you know but my stop loss was about 40 ish let me give you that this was my stop loss you know like dollar stop loss I was buying little large uh, amount of shares you know what I normally do here is you know I'll explain you okay if you see you know like this is a pure trading range this is this is the price action this is the footprints what uh, 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 institution smart money gives us you know this price action about 43 44 and 40 that's it come down buy go up sell come down buy go up sell I mean Honestly, I have done so good in these guys that uh, EW, you know, like let's go to EW. You see all these, all these things I have it from before, you know, like, I mean, it come down, you buy, go up, you sell, come down, you buy, go up, you sell. It's, it's so good. It's so good. It's so simple. You know, I'll, I'll be making more videos on these two and uh, hopefully we all can make a lot of money. But for nutshell is... We need to see the footprints of the smart money, what they are doing, where they are investing. And if you see AMBA here, we had, I mean, th this price action here, if you see, it's very similar to what we are looking at our, uh, 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 what do you call, uh, monthly chart on, uh, not monthly, a uh, weekly chart on our uh, uh, S&P. You know, let's go to S&P. It's very similar price action you know this price action here you know this price action here is very very similar to weekly uh, let me just I mean, see here, you know, like now we know we can see a little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit up. But this is our base and will be going up. 
I hope I have answered everything uh, which I promised 200 level is important because we are making a weekly candle here uh, uh, and are we going up I, personally I'm more bearish now you know like um, tomorrow I will be I will be uh, uh, looking to short uh, S&P for any reason if we, if we if if we go up and we poke through two or three and we stayed and we uh, traded above two or three all day then I might change my thoughts again but as of now I think we are very bearish we will be going down and the price action today was not a good price action as per five minute chart this is not the price action we really expect from from a rally like this here you know like so uh, more bearish as of now but two or three and trading above that can change a lot of things Thank you very much. I hope this video can make a lot of meaning to you guys. And uh, I have learned from you guys. I have learned from uh, all the uh, good traders. Uh, uh, and and I'm still learning a lot from my uh, great friends, uh, Scotland. Uh, there are many guys, you know, uh, who are my co-traders, who I share things with. And uh, they, are, they are very, very helpful. So I'm just trying to give my knowledge i'm just trying to share my experience these are not recommendations these are not something i want you guys to buy but i over over few years i have made my style so simple that uh, uh my my winning ratio is uh, uh over oh, over 90 person you know like it's 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 not right to say that but uh, i'm being blessed you know like uh, uh before i do that let me tell you about ray this is a guy uh i really trading a lot you know uh about this price range i'm really trading a lot i'm in big numbers when i say big numbers maybe uh a lot of thousand of shares you know like i'm trading so you know like i'm just looking for a dollar or two dollar gain not a volatile stock you know like very conservative will be staying here and uh stop loss is around here it's it's wow you know like once you start trading this you will know uh, how simple while you are having good time with your kids while you are having good time with your five with your parents with your friends these guys these good strong pillars are making a lot of money for you we just need to understand the chart pattern and where the smart money is investing thank you very much good luck i have learned from you guys a lot and i will be explaining and sharing a lot a lot more thank you